that's a brand of the year. Hey guys, sorry I haven't been around for a while. A few complications, including a missing tripod head, have led to me not doing a video for a while. Either way, this is my review for, quite possibly, my favorite movie of the year. Kubo and the Two Strings is amazing. It is an extremely well-formulated film with absolutely amazing characters, amazing animation, and a maturity that I didn't expect and I am so happy that it had. Kubo and the Two Strings is about a boy who, after years of hiding away with his mother from his evil grandfather and his wicked uh, aunts, is forced out into the world to try and find these three items in order to defeat his grandfather. And as simple as that sounds, it's absolutely incredible. There's two things I really want to talk about with this film. The first is the animation. I love stop motion animation. I grew up watching Wallace and Gromit when I was a kid. And after I found out how much work that takes, if I'm correct, something about for one second of film, they have to do at least, at least 24 shots of emotion that would take forever so the fact that this film is so intricate the hair movements the armor the fur the skin the hands the emotions is so good the detail is immaculate i couldn't believe i was watching a stop motion animation film half the time there was maybe one or two moments with mouth movements like but otherwise it was seamless. It, I almost thought I was watching an animated, like a CG animated film at times, and that was one half of why I love this film. I was never bored. I had never a moment of, uh, because of how great the animation was. Now the second part is the story. The story is way more mature than I thought I was getting from this film. It's not a kids movie. If you're thinking it's like for kids like four and five, it's not because the material that they're talking about this film is completely out of their league. There's words in this film that I thought I'd never hear in a kids film. Murder, kill, dead, hell. There's so many words in this film that I'm like, wow, this took it a step up. The characters are fantastic. Kubo, you can relate to him so well, and his journey throughout the entire film, we're not just seeing a kid who's trying to find his place, but also trying to reconnect with his parents, but he's also coming to accept the ideals of death. And this film also talks about Alzheimer's and memory loss, and it just comes at it from such a mature angle. I'm amazed at how well this works. The art style, again, is amazing because of the Japanese influence, and there's a lot of Japanese influence of folk tales and whatnot in the story. And everyone's great. I loved Monkey. I loved the Samurai Beetle. All the voice work in this film is amazing. Probably one of my favorite character designs is the Evil Sisters. Whenever they appear, the just the detail on their movements was amazing. This film also has fight scenes. There's a fight scene between Monkey and one of the sisters, and it's the it's one of the best parts in the movie because they're just sitting there going. I'm watching a fight scene in a kid's movie in stop animation. This film will marvel you the entire way through, and it is such an amazing ride. Even though there's a an odd sort of element with the ending, which I kind of thought was a little bit too kitty, considering how everything before had been very mature. And when you really think about it, the story itself is not that complex. It's quite simple, and it's kind of set up in a way but just the entire film is such a marvel to watch you won't care about any sort of issues because with every little eh you may see very rare mind you you'll still be like wow this is an amazing movie kubo and the two strings is by far the best movie i have seen this entire year and that's why it gets a seven out of seven i love this movie if you have not seen it watch it i'm very tempted to watch it again it's that good anyway guys it's all from me there's a lot more to come i promise i'm off the packs right now but i'll see you guys later